Okay, so we're back. So, so there's the packing gland. It just basically pulled straight out and flipped over. You can see, oh great, I'm trying to hold the flash light here and, and fill. You can see the little dark spot here. This would be the bottom. And then clearly, there's that O-ring I'm talking about. The back of that packing, mechanical packer seal there. That O-ring, if you look at the bottom here, clearly, see all the black leaking straight out the bottom right there. So, clearly the O-ring is not seating properly on the outside here of the packing gland. And, can't tell yet if it's, there's a problem with it. It doesn't look to be a problem with it, but here again, that wasn't greased. If that's set in there and greased properly, I believe it sits. You gotta make sure your face here is good and clean and, and right. But I believe it sits and seals on there a lot better, and I usually don't see these problems. So, when that goes in on a new one, we're getting ready to do that. It's important to remember to grease. I use white lithium grease and just grease that o ring into there, gob it in there. And then you can put your packing gland in, set your impeller depth, and then set your screws in the back. So we'll uh, we'll get her fixed up here and see how she does. Hey guys, Chris here, Facility One. Um, I had this huge video on the charge pump last night, and uh, realized I'm not a very good camera guy. So uh, instead of showing you 12 minutes of me trying to hold a camera and do this repair. It's not going to happen. Uh, I'm just going to make a simple video explaining it because I have to work on my camera skills. So there it is, uh, the 2196 MTO Summit centrifuge pump uh, mechanical seal. Uh, to make it simple, I'll show you the new seal. Um, I use these AT, AST-70s. And the simple problem here these seals and I'm guilty of it I think that's why this one was leaking is because I kind of getting in a hurry putting it back together um, the most important part doing this <clears throat> there's my camera skill <clears throat> okay this o-ring right here you can see it just sitting in there um, when you're putting this back together, you lube up your shaft, you get your mechanical seal on there, and then you work on your packing gland and getting your um, shaft uh, run out done and everything. But you usually, at that point, I usually forget to grease this seal. What it should be done as soon as it goes on. If you, when every time you forget to grease this seal, number one, it either gets put in there just a little off, or it gets pinched in the mounting surface. Or number two, it just doesn't seal right. So every time I do not grease that O-ring, we get a leak. So very important to grease that O-ring. And that was the problem last night in here. And uh, pretty simple. Um, I wouldn't, I'd like to make a video on completely tearing down and reinstalling a mechanical seal, but I'll work on my camera skills and we'll do it next time. All right, guys, there's a truck here again. Those little LEDs from Walmart, what a lifesaver. Thanks guys.